Have you ever wondered if strength training is for you? In this month's segment of Fitness for All from Duncaster, we're going to talk about the benefits of strength training for people of all ages. Welcome to Fitness for All from Duncaster, a monthly showcase of fitness and exercise tips for every body. I'm Andrea Obston, and today I'm joined by John Hoadley, a personal trainer and fitness instructor at Duncaster's Aquatic and Fitness Center. Also joining us is a member of the Duncaster Fitness Center, Roman Roszkowski, and Duncaster resident Joe Sly. Together, they will demonstrate some of the exercises we can use to develop strength, reduce the symptoms of some common ailments, manage weight, and even sleep better. And that's all courtesy of some simple strength training exercises. So John, tell us a little bit more about the benefits of strength training. Well, Andrea, strength training can help us burn fat and build muscle. It can also help with the integrity of your joints, from your shoulders all the way down to your ankles and feet. It can also help with your posture, so you sit up straighter, and your hip alignment. And it can even help with your bone density, so that when you fall, if you fall down, you don't break bones, you don't injure yourself as much. Fabulous. Okay, so we're going to have you demonstrate two versions of exercises. Joe is going to show us how we can adapt seated, and Roman is going to do the standing. All right, so we're going to do some warm-ups. We're going to get started. We're just going to simply do some arm circles, big arm circles. Backs are tall, loosening up the shoulders, the chest, and the back. And we're going to go the opposite direction now. Nice deep breath, getting some oxygen into those lungs as we open up the shoulder and chest. And now we're going to alternate, and we want to try to rotate our trunk. So our shoulders, our chest, our back into our thoracic spine. And we're even getting our hips going and our feet. We're gonna go backwards, so just like swimming with the backstroke. Very good. And then we're gonna move on to marching. So we're gonna march, we wanna get those knees up nice and high. We wanna to try to get, keep those shoulders going. And we wanna to try to keep that chest and that back going. So you want your tr entire trunk to rotate and turn. We're gonna continue marching, but we're gonna bring our feet up to our butt. So when we march with our feet up to our butt, a lot of times people forget they have arms still and they don't use their upper body. We wanna to continue to use our upper body because that's how we move in real life. From there, we want to cross and rotate our hips and our chest in opposite directions. Very good. And then we're gonna do hip rotations, hands on the hip, rotate one way, and rotate the other way. And now we'll get into our main workout. Okay, so basically what we're going to be doing is some functional exercises like you would be doing in real life. Okay, so basically if you're sitting down into a chair, if you're reaching up onto a shelf, if you're putting something onto a coffee table, things that you would be doing in real life. Okay, so we're going to start off with Joe sitting down and standing up and Roman's gonna be doing a squat, okay? So she's gonna get her feet about shoulder width apart. In fact, they're both gonna do that. Roman's gonna bring his hands up to his shoulders and chest to keep the weight as close as you can to your body, okay? And you're gonna keep your knees wide and your feet pointed forward, your back is tall, your chest is out. Okay, so Joe, you're gonna be sitting down into the chair with your knees apart and then leaning forward and pushing back up out of that chair. Roman, you're just gonna simply squat and come back up. And we're gonna do about five repetitions of that, okay? So ready, let's get started. We're gonna go down and up for one, and down, very good, and up for two. You wanna keep your knees a little wider, down, and up for three, pushing through the feet, backs are tall, down, and up for four, keep that core tight, and down, one more, five, very good. Okay, so we're gonna go Not back. <laughs> Bonus points. Okay, so we're gonna move on and we're gonna be doing shoulder raises, okay? So with a shoulder raise, you're just simply gonna start with your hands in front of your thighs and you're gonna bring them up, okay? So like you're putting something up onto a shelf, okay? It comes from the shoulders, the chest, and the back, all right? So I'm gonna get Joe the bands. She's gonna sit down and show you the seated version of it and put her feet on the band. Okay, so sit down for show. All right, she's gonna sit down, yeah. And Roman's gonna do 
the standing version with dumbbells. So we're going to raise our hands up, having the elbows slightly bent, backs tall, and then lower down. We only want to come shoulder height, okay, and then lower down because if we go much higher than shoulder height, we'll have um, the tension will be in our neck and not our upper back, our chest, or our shoulders, okay? Very good. All right, so I'm going to have Joe stand back up and she's going to give me the band. And now we're going to do stepping forward and stepping back. And as you can see, Joe or Roman can do this with the weights or without the weights. We're just going to simply step forward and step back, step forward and step back, alternating. And we can also make that a little bit harder by lunging forward and back and forward and back. So whichever version you guys want to do, ready? Step in, stepping out, stepping in, bending that knee, stepping out, alternating. Good, stepping in and out. They're going to keep those hips strong and that core strong, stepping in and out, and one more in and out. Very good, okay. So we're going to be doing a bicep curl, okay? The biceps are muscles on your upper arm. We use them to pick things up and uh, put things down, okay? Such as boxes, our grandchildren, and what have you. So she's gonna put that band back underneath her feet. She's gonna stand up nice and tall and straight. They're gonna come up to their chest and shoulders, keeping their core abdomen and abdomen tight, and then lower back down, okay? Coming up, breathing out, and down, breathing in. Backs are tall, up, breathing out. Squeeze those biceps, and down, breathing in. Up. Relaxing the shoulders, good, and down, and last one, up, squeeze, and down. Very good, excellent. All right, and I'll take that back. So for the next exercise, we're going to be doing side lunges, side stepping. So you're going to be moving to one side and moving to the other side. We want to have one knee slightly bent and the other knee is bent all the way, okay? And we want to control our core, control our hips, and our upper back, okay? So both of you are going to be doing the same thing. In and out, and in and out. All right, let's try it. Out, go ahead to that side. Okay. Yeah, and in, and out, and in, out, and in. Very good. Out, and in, out, and then one more. Out, and in. Excellent. All right, so we're going to have Joe take the, the uh, bands back. She's going to stand on them again. And from there, we're gonna be doing what we call flies. Flies are really great because they're a similar function to opening doors, okay, or opening up cupboards. Okay, so we're gonna have our hands here in front of us. We're gonna stand up tall, chest is out, back is tall. We're gonna come out wide, squeeze the upper back muscles, your scapula, your shoulder blades together, and then we're gonna bring them back in and flex the chest, okay? So let's try that out and then, And if you have a shoulder issue, you can tuck those elbows in tight Okay, a rotator cuff issue, and only go so far. So whichever works for either one of you. And we don't want to arch our back, Joe, so we want to just keep it up nice and tall. One more good one, guys. Excellent. Okay, so in addition to those, we want to take that band back, and we're going to do back lunges. So I'm going to move the chair back a little bit so Joe doesn't run into it. And we're gonna do back lunges or backward steps. These are really great because they help us get through falls sometimes so that if we don't fall. So we're gonna step back and step forward and step back and step forward. And you can do big steps or small steps. Okay, let's try it. So we're gonna step back and forward, back and forward, pushing through the front leg and minimal weight on that back leg. Very good. And again, as you can see, Roman's doing a lunge inversion version and Joe is doing a stepping version okay awesome okay great guys all right so last things we're going to do is we're going to do some core exercises for your abdominal area Joe is going to do the sitting version okay and Roman's going to get down on the mat so Roman's going to get down onto his hands and knees and Roman's going to and uh, Joe is going to sit down so Roman's going to extend out his right hand and left leg and then come back down to the mat. Same side again. Oh, same side, Roman. There you go. And what Joe's going to do is basically the same version sitting in the chair. So she's going to extend out that right leg and left arm. And then she's going to bring them together like so. Right. Okay. So let's try it. 
One, two, three, good. Not so high, four, and five, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna do the other side, same thing, okay? So ready, one, two, very good, three, four, and one more for five. Excellent, all right. So the next one we're gonna have is what we call a dead bug. It's almost the same thing. I'm gonna have Roman do that one, and Joe's just gonna have, watch, so we don't have a seated version of that one. So Roman's gonna lay down on his back, and this is kind of the reverse of what we just did. He's gonna extend his arms straight oh, up. Okay. His, his knees are gonna be at a 90 degree angle, okay? And he's gonna extend the left arm out and the right leg. Yep, and then come up, and then the other side, yeah. Good. And he's keeping his belly button, his core, sucked down towards the mat, and he wants to remember to breathe, not to hold his breath. He's gonna suck his belly button down to his spine, and he wants to have a long, tall back as he extends those arms and legs. And this exercise is awesome because it works his hips, it works his abs, and it works his shoulder, okay? And that's it for Roman. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna finish up with a few stretching exercises. Okay. And so we're just gonna simply reach up over our head. Want a nice tall back, nice tall spine. We're gonna to lean to one side. So we're gonna stretch the triceps and the arms. We're gonna stretch the shoulders, your lats and your upper back and your obliques in the sides of your stomach. Gonna to lean to the other side, same thing. We're gonna reach out in front of us. Gonna round the back slightly if you can, and then we're gonna pull to one side. Again, you're stretching out the triceps, the shoulders, and the upper back. We're doing the other side. We're gonna reach up over our heads, and we're gonna go down to the floor. You're gonna come back up, reach up one more time. We're gonna do the both, both sides to the feet, and up to the other foot. Going to come on up. Joe's going to sit down and show you the seated version of the next couple of stretches. Roman's going to show you the standing version. Okay? So we're going to bring our knees up, keeping that balance if you need to. Other side. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to bring your foot up towards your butt. Again, keeping that balance. Roman, you can do it. Come on. And other side. You got it. That's my week. All right, we're gonna reach up behind our heads. Reach up behind the head. Crossing over, crossing over. And then we're gonna reach behind the back on either side, right. Very good, and that's it. Thank you, John, Roman, and Joe. Tune in next month for the next edition of Fitness for All from Duncaster, when we'll talk about Qigong, with Duncaster instructor Mary Ellen Mullins. And if you have any questions about today's segment or fitness for anyone over the age of 50, get in touch with John Hoadley at Duncaster. He's ready, willing, and able to get you started on a life-enriching program of fitness and wellness. And thanks for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you next month for the next edition of Fitness for All from Duncaster. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you. <laughs>